Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature yet another Pauletti guitar. This is the Pauletti Stratospheric Black Leather Top.
If you're new to the channel, you might want to subscribe to this channel uh, and uh, be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. Now, I want to thank Amelia Singapore, especially Mel, for passing me this guitar for review. Now, it is from Paoletti, Italy. Uh, as you all know uh, from the previous videos, that this wood for the body is a reclaimed chestnut wood from the barrels of the uh, winery in Tuscany that is owned by Paoletti. And Fabrizio Paoletti is a master guitar builder too. So he is from the Paoletti uh, family and he has decided to uh, make guitars out of these barrels, these chestnut barrels, and they are beautiful. Now this is a bit different. This has a leather top. This is a black leather top. Um, kind of funky, you know, uh, with silver studs all around. All right, this looks good great this looks really great on stage and I've seen a couple of prominent guitarists owning this Paletti with the leather top now basically you have the reclaimed chestnut uh, body these are like ranging from 100 to 100 plus years old um, really nice grain for this one I like the back of this this looks really nice of course the top you have a black leather top with all the various silver stats you have a Canadian roasted maple neck and a Pau Ferro fretboard with a fret radius of 12 inch. Now these are jumbo frets, these are nickel jumbo frets with a bone nut of 42 mm. You know, um, yeah, I just kind of measure it roughly. It might be 43, but I'm thinking it's, it should be 42. You also have Klusen tuners, really nice. A Strat his stock. Dot markers, white dot markers on the side too. And then you have a five-way selector switch, like a strat, right? You have one volume and two tones, no push-pull. As for the pickups, these are all Anico 5s. You have the Pauletti 60s uh, single call for the neck and the middle. And you have the Rock 2 for the bridge. Now, um, the Rock 2 has a output of 8.1K and the single calls have both have a output of 7.5k nice and then you have a proprietary um Pauletti, uh tremolo system a six screw tremolo system with a brass bridge or rather a brass plate all right and then this pig guard is made of brass nice it's actually a two-piece you can see there's a gap here so is the back plate. These are brass and this is brass. Uh, the neck joint, uh, you have the familiar Paula T logo, same as the other guitars that I reviewed. Now, like I stated before, the finish of this guitar is really nice. Uh, I like the, the look of it, you know, and it doesn't really look, uh, this looks less uh, relic than the other guitars, you know, probably because of the leather top. Nice. Now, how does it play? With a medium C neck profile and a 12 inch radius, this guitar is a breeze to play. It's a shame that uh, this guitar is strung with 09s. I would prefer it to be 010s, you know, because uh, the way I play, you know, I'm not really used to 09s nowadays. Uh, Trauma system works really well, you know, it stays in tune. You have a regular string tree, I will swap this out, but you know, as it is, it stays in tune. So this guitar has been set up, uh, well set up by Mia. You also have a a great uh, set of um, pickups. The, the retro pickups are really nice. The 60s pickups are really nice. The single cost. The uh, humbuckers is is uh, medium to high output. At 7.5, it's considered medium high output, and it has the bite. You know, it has the body, so it works really well if you're going for a overdriven sound, or if you need to drive an amp with a booster or with just the pickups. You know, you can get really nice tones. I particularly am impressed with the single calls. Single calls are really nice. Alright. So let me know uh, what do you think about this guitar. Guitar is a bit pricey though. Yeah, Paoletti guitars are up there in the market. They are priced really high. And uh, guitars are available in MIA Singapore. So they're based in Peninsula Shopping Center. So if you're in Singapore, just pop them down and give this guitars a try. They have a couple models there. Alright. Um, like this video? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of the Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself and I'll see you real soon. Every day, actually.